Hello everyone, this is Alan from Ecom Simplified. Today I'm going to show you how you can show certain information on your product depending on the product tags or a specific product tag you give a product. So let's get right into it. Um, there are many applications uh, that you can use this for um, because uh, your product could be ex an exclusive product, it could be a hot product, or um, it's a specific um, group of product that you want to have certain things displayed. So to do this, we'll go to the code editor. We'll go to um, the theme section and go actions, edit code. And in here, we want to find your product um, template file. So the easiest way to do this is to type in product um, into the search directory here. And then the one you want to find is called product template.liquid under the sections folder. So once you find this file, you um, would have to decide where you want to show this information. So if we look back into the general product page, you can see um, there's quite a few areas you can add this. Um, I would choose here today just the gap in between the um, title and the price, uh, just for an example. So to look for that, um, we want to see where it is in your product template. Um, file. So a way to do this is um, find out where um, what this is called. So if we inspect this file, we can inspect on your uh, right click on your browser and um, click on this icon here to look at the title. Just hover over. So you can see that this one has a class called product single title. So we're just going to copy this and then we will paste we will try and search it in this file. So I will just click search and then search for this title. And here it is, um, this line here specifically shows a product title where this part just shows the product title and the product price right underneath it. So if we make a space here and this is where we're gonna put our code. We want to um, create a conditional logic so that it will check for your product to see if it has a specific product tag. So to do this, we want to create a loop that says for tag and product.tags. And then we'll also look for a tag that you can choose. But um, in, in this example, we'll choose the tag hot. So here we can um, say uh, this is a hot product. You do not want to miss out on this one. Example. And uh, once you finish this, um, you want to close the loop so then it knows to stop looking. All right, so once you do this, um, you can save this file. And then if you refresh the page now, nothing would happen yet because I haven't actually tagged the product. So if we look at the product itself and um, go back to the product, and we now want to give this product the tag um, hot, which we specified to look for. So once we added this tag in, uh, click save. And then um, we will have to wait for um, the server to just quickly pick that up. So in the meantime, we'll just quickly take a look at what we've done again. So we want this to go in between the product price and the product title. It's going to go through all the product tags because the product can have many, many tags. And um, it's going to look for the product tag hot. So this is the tag that you can change. You can change this to anything. And depending on what you have as a tag, and you tag your product, it will show this message. So if we go to the front end now and then refresh the page, it will show that this is a hot product. You do not want to miss out on this one. So uh, that's great. So you can see that once this product has this tag on it, it will show this particular phrase. Um, so if we go back and um, take that tag off and just wait for um, your store to update, this would technically uh, disappear because this product does not have this tag anymore. 
it can take a bit longer to update um, with product tags because it can um, it takes time for the server to load so we'll just give it a few more seconds so here you can change what, uh, to any message you like it to and to change the tag that you prefer and and you can have multiple if you like um, so you see that it's finally updated and it is now gone and it is still in here so you can actually make um, use of this depending on what you like to do uh, it's just, just an easy trick to show anything specific Hope you find this useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave it in the video. Um, thank you for watching and we'll hope to see you in the next video.